It looks like the Ubisoft CEO agrees with the merger of Microsoft and Activision. And Eurogamer reports this in today's article. However, before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like, share, and subscribe. As we get, we get to be doing a lot of gaming news this particular cycle of RetroYuki 4.0 starting next week. I am excited. I'll be giving a presentation on what's going to happen later on this weekend or a little bit earlier next week. But first, let's get into the article. Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard is good news, according to the Ubisoft CEO. And let's let's have a read on this. This was written by Ed Nightingale on July 21st, 2023. Let's read. Ubisoft CEO Yes Gullimort has commented on Microsoft's takeover bid of Activision Blizzard, stating it validates Ubisoft's decision to expand into mobile gaming. In the latest earnings call with investors, Gullimort was asked by an ex investor to, for his view on the merger and his decision for Ubisoft to remain independent while the industry con consolidates and he says quote i think it's good news that the transaction can go through because it's really showing the power of ips intellectual properties and where the industry is going so there will be a lot of opportunities in the future for all companies gallimot replied and he continues it also showing the value of ips that can be now on console and pc but also on mobile and become more worldwide brands. And when we say it worldwide, it's really everywhere in the world. And that's a fantastic opportunity. He continued, Microsoft is saying the mobile part of Activision deal is important. So all the investment we are making is to be stronger on mobile is also in line with that. So all those elements will help the value of the company to grow. End quote. Earlier in the call, and in the earnings report, Ubisoft's quarter one results were revealed, showing a 9% decrease in net sales year on year. However, 10 games are due for release this fiscal year, of which Rainbow Six Mobile is one. And we're gonna take a look at that in a moment. Another major mobile release will be Assassin's Creed Goldname Jade, which begins its first closed beta on the 3rd of August this year. It's a full open world Assassin's Creed game set in China. It will be published by Level Infinite, which is a subsidiary of Tencent. While much of Microsoft's Activision Blizzard deal has focused on Call of Duty, Xbox boss, Xbox boss Phil Spencer claimed the deal is a key element and Microsoft's move toward mobile games, not to mention the inclusion of Candy Crush publisher King. Indeed, Microsoft is planning to launch its own app store in the near future. And the fact the deal is on the verge of going through bolster, bolsters Gillamut's strategy for Ubisoft. And that's the article from Eurogamer for this particular segment. But we do need to take a look at the Ubisoft's quarter one report for sales because this ties into this article. So let's have a read on this. I will be linking this also in the description below too. So let's have a read. Ubisoft has 10 releases in the works this fiscal year as quarter one results drop, including mystery quote, large game also written by Ed Nightingale on the 21st of August 2023 and let's have a read on this. Ubisoft's quarter one results are in and net sales are down 9% year on year but there are still 10 games set to launch the remainder of this fiscal year. Net sales from quarter one 2023 to 2024 were an estimated euros 288.9 288.9 million which is approximately $321.4 million, 
which is down from 318.2 million euros or 354 million dollars according to the company's latest fiscal report financial report excuse me despite the drop ubisoft ceo gilamot said to the, that company the, delivered a better than expected performance there were some positive but net bookings and daily active users of rainbow six seats growing due to new seasonal content other live service games like the division like the division 2 and the crew 2 also had quote strong activity the company is now looking ahead with Gilliamut picking out the highly regarded ubisoft forward event for positioning us favorably for the coming months and years um <clears throat> the company has 10 games in the fiscal year 24 lineup including the following nine and one other quote large game and you can see the following games are planned one of them being x defiant which i will be playing for the channel and the games are assassin's creed mirage avatar frontiers of pandora rainbow six mobile the division resurgence just then 24 edition of course Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, Skull and Bones, The Crew Motorfest, which actually I was invited to the to the closed beta, and X Defiant, which I did play for you guys a little bit. The beta. <clears throat> As said, the screen Mirage is due out the 12th of November. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora will be on the 7th of December. And Prince of Persia Lost Crown will be January 24. Excuse me, January 18, 2024. Meanwhile, X Defiant is due out this summer still. The Crew Motor Fest is set to release some point this year. And the preliminary delayed Skull and Bones is out 2023 to 2024. And here's the, the so called large game. It's the mystery large game quote that's raising eyebrows. However, perhaps the likeliest option is Star Wars Outlaws recently showed at the Ubisoft Forward event. Beforehand, it was reported the company's then unknown Star Wars game was targeting an 20, early 2024 release, but that it hasn't progressed well. It since had gameplay shown to set to have large planets they are traditionally guaranteed. Gen excuse me, generated. Is Ubisoft just being cautious in the case of date slips? Or is there another mystery game in the works we're yet to see? That is going to be very interesting. Knowing that Ubisoft Forward just happened a few months ago. And we have these games that are being announced. So I will tell you which game I am very interested in, and that is of course the aforementioned X Defiant. Because that game is supposed to be coming out for all platforms, with the last generation being later on down the line. So what are your thoughts about the Ubisoft CEO saying the merger with Microsoft Activism Blizzard is being quote good news? Let me know in the comments below. And for all things gaming news, and we're gonna start a gaming review soon. Get ready for a lot in RetroYuki 4.0 when we get started next week. I am RetroYuki, and we'll see you guys on the next commentary, which is talking about the Dolphin Emulator not coming to Steam. More on that later today.